I work all over the world, from, from England, Spain, to Toronto, to Thailand. And, but when I come here, I didn't want to move from here. I was, I was breathtaking and I said, here when I want to work. Because uh, you can see the fruits, you can see the, the vegetables fresh from the market. Uh, everywhere around you is herbs, you know, like uh, fresh herbs, dill, you know, like uh, coriander. That being a subtropical island, and because we, we have a volcanic um, soil, of course, together with the temperature that we have, uh, we have vegetables and fruits all year round. So the growing organic food movement in Madeira has come about a greater demand from customers who are looking for food without chemicals. And this is the way there's the biggest market demand, so there are more people looking for this product. Dishes that you should not miss in Madeira is the limpets, Red limpets, uh, this the espada, the black scabbard uh, fish, the pork, carne vinho e alhos, which means uh, pork, garlic, and red wine. And people can go and have the boldo caco, it's a bread, and the espetada, it's uh, like a kebab. One of the major changes I think in Madeira has been the opening of some excellent international standard restaurants. This has meant that we've seen a, a new breed of, of tourist, if you like, come to the island. Someone who, who wants everything that Madeira traditionally offers, but at the same time, there is a cutting edge feel to the place. Madeira wine was done around three centuries ago uh, by the ships sailing through the tropics, and it's still the wine that people drink today and enjoy very much. Porsche, it's a uh, regional drink, it's made of uh, sugar honey, lemon peel, and then you put the local fire water, it's called aguardente, and that's mixed up, and it was originally drunk by fishermen. There is the traditional poncha, we threw to absinthe, tangerine, black currant, they call it the black poncha. I really want to stay here and cook really uh, good food. Thank you.